Howdy folks, welcome to Shaman Kobe's Emporium of Awesome. Um, today we got another Pokemon opening. Um, we're going to take a little break from the new set. I know it's all, that's all the videos you're going to see us about there. So it's all about Chilling Rain, Chilling Rain this and that, all the polls and all the new cards and that's fantastic, it really is. And I'm really looking forward to doing that. But today we're going to take a little break um, and we're going to do a little pack potluck is what I want to call it. So it's a bunch of different packs and all that of different cards. We got five different packs. We got one of the most, the last recent new one was some Battle Styles. We have some Shining Fates. It's kind of like going backwards. There's some Vivid Voltage. Skip a little bit to Darkness Ablaze and Sun and Moon. So we're going to do five different packs. We've got Potluck Pack Opening, as you might want to call it. Um, we're going to... We're going to do some, let's see, we'll do Shining Fates. We'll go in the order of stuff that I'm most excited for. We'll do Shining Fates last. We'll do Vivid Voltage. We'll do Darkness of Blaze, Sun of Moon, and Battle Stuff. So those are the, that's the order I'm going to do right now. So if we'll go from my least favorite-ish to up in my favorite category. Also. Right. So we're going to thank you everybody for joining. Uh, hopefully you're having a good day. Uh, so, so far... I am having a pretty good day. Like I say, you know, so new Pokemon stuff is coming up every day. The new set also is coming out. There's the EV Evolutions also over in Japan also that I'm super excited about also. I'd love to get a hold of some of those, some of the pulls in there for the EV Evolutions and stuff like that. It's amazing. The art looks great. So I'm trying to decide if I want to grab that or not. Also, it's kind of back and forth between. I got Chilling Rain also coming out. I have EV Evolutions in Japan. There's August, there is another one coming out on of Evolving Skies in August, which is basically some of the evolutions on up into this set and stuff like that, mix mash of things. So, juggling which ones on stuff I want to try to get a hold of on that. So, hopefully, I can get some pulls, turn it around on stuff to do some trading or some selling on stuff to get some more stuff that I'm actually interested in. So, let's start it off on stuff with. Battle styles on uh, in this. This set for me has been, was been. I didn't go very hard in this set. I got a few elite trainer boxes. I've opened a few random packs on uh, stuff like this and that just to see if I can get the big hits. But there really wasn't much in this set. Two, three, four that I was really chasing that I could remember. So I didn't really go hard on it. Uh, it was just one that was there that if I found some, I needed some. I picked some up. So energy. Coriolis Focus, Caracol, Morpeko, Blipbug, Roly Coly, Chimiko, Chimeko, Onyx, Sizzlipede, Weeping Bell, and a Marowak. Um, bear with me on stuff on some of the, the pronunciations on these cards. I'm still getting used to a, a lot of them, especially since the, these new ones. But I'll get there, maybe. Um, Sun and Moon, I can actually see on here, right down there, that looks like it was placed on the pack right there. It was placed right on top of there. I can see it on the pack art. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Sun and Moon, I do not know very much at all about this set. These were sets that came out before I started collecting. I didn't start collecting on them until probably until Hidden Fates and Cosmic Eclipse, so ones that came out relatively before that, I well, hope hope it's four. Sometimes they're three or the older ones. Nope, it's four. Um, so I don't know much about these ones. I don't know the hits on stuff. I didn't have really looked them up much. These are the cards I usually get on stuff in like tins where you get like three or four different packs on stuff in there with like Crimson Invasion and things like that, which I also, a lot of those sets I don't know much about. But it's interesting pulling them because I don't know what cards that are in it. Energy, Repel, Corsola, Professor Kukui, Moralol, Star, Scarmony, Poliwag, which is done like a Brodin, that's cool. Sandy Guest, Eevee, hey, I don't have that Eevee card. Neat, that's nice. I'll put that over here. Add to my Eevee collection once. Randy and Muck. Oh, here's a Witcher card. 
It's a hollow. Like I say, they call these ones reverse hollows, the ones also that are on, if you don't know, ones that are shiny also on everything but the picture, and then hollow, which is muck. That one's hard to see, but it's in the inside there. That's cool. All right. Let's go with Darkness Ablaze on up now. This one I didn't pull much of either. It kind of came out. I was kind of like, meh, on it. I ended up actually picking up um, an ETB just randomly on the what you call it, marketplace. It was a good buy. I'm like, sure, why not? And ended up pulling us of the Charizard us of that was the chase card in it. Fourth pack in, bam. I'm like, okay, done. It was actually the first really good Charizard pull us of that I've had us was that. That was the first one, which was, it was amazing. So, Kabu, Simisage, Vanillish, Starly, Aeron, Kachu, Rowlet, Jigglypuff, Galarian, Germanitan, and Volcaro. All right. Next, Food Voltage. I pulled a crap ton of these ones off of. These ones were available everywhere. They were easy to get for a long time. They had really good pull rates. Four, some really good pull rates in it. Also, of course, the people were going, they had the amazing rares that were first introduced into this set, which were lovely cards. Um, they had the Rainbow Pikachu that everybody wants to get also from it. I haven't got it yet. I'd like, love to get it. It's a beautiful card, but it's hard to pull. But I still had a lot of fun with it, so I pulled a lot of these ones. Yeah. Giraffe Rig. Mumuchis. Electronic. Pinnacle. Mudbrain. Puchina. Charmander. Bedroom and Dreadnought. Nothing fancy in that one. And then we get the Shining Fates, which is also a very, very liked set. Very good pulls in it. More shiny Pokemon, just like in Hidden Fates, which was, which is, was, and still is super popular. It's my favorite set that there is out there. I just love the shinies that are in it. Um, it reminds me of when I first started collecting with my son, so it has sentimental value there. The Pokemon in it are great, the pull rates are great, it's just a really, really good set. Um, I actually am hoping uh, stuff to be able to pull or open some of that stuff, make some videos or stuff on it, but we will see. Um, energy. Rotom, Rusted Sword, Eldegoss, Jinx, Coughing, Horsia, Grookey, more Peko, Kufant, and another different Dreadnought. Well, there was really nothing in any of those uh, stuff potluck packs, was there? there? The only thing I had there was this different EV uh, stuff that I'd never seen uh, stuff or had before. But that's what you get on uh, stuff with packs. These, I don't even know where a lot of these ones came from. There was random ones that I had and put aside for a random video or something like this. But that's okay. Can't have hits on stuff every time. It's all about the hunt on us on getting certain ones. And that's okay. I will take these cards, add them also to my collection and bundles into my bulk. Um, that I'm hopefully going to start putting together. I'll put a bunch of bulk together on stuff. I'm going to give hundreds of cards, put them into like empty tins and that. And either charge like five bucks for them or something like that. Or sometimes maybe I'll even just give them away on stuff to people for kids on stuff they need on stuff. Because sometimes it's hard to find packs these days but thank you very much for joining i still have a blast also doing these videos and opening the cards um my son actually also will be doing also a video soon he'll be opening up what you got a box up there that he got for his birthday from his auntie lisa so hopefully also he'll find something nice and shiny in there hopefully we'll be able to do that in the next couple days for you guys i love seeing him also open packs um, but thank you. Please subscribe. Please like the video down below. And I will see you on the next Pokemon video. Thank you very much. Have a good day.